so yeah this is going to be a really short one because i already kind of talked about all this in my get ready with me but i'm still going to like emphasize and probably like just tell you guys more Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ibi Davis, but you can call me Ib because we're going to be homies. All you gotta do is subscribe to my channel. Yeah, let's get to this video. So I'm going to be telling you guys some things that they don't tell you before you travel to North Cyprus to study as an international student. They don't tell you that when you come to Cyprus, you're not going to get a job or you're not going to get a good job. Literally, they pay. Inside, if you want to work in Cyprus, they probably pay like 40 or per hour and i've actually had the experience of working at a place where they literally were they were paying 40 or per hour and um okay do you want to check how much in most places they pay like 40 or per hour which is like 0 0.69 dollars you guys can you imagine if you get a job where they pay you a lot of money when i mean a lot of money i think a lot of money could be like a thousand tier which is like 300 to like i think 300 to like 400 dollars you're probably sleeping like when i mean sleeping like you're doing a lot for you to get that amount of money so yeah they don't tell you that you're not going to get a good job you're not going to did you actually the agents they just tell you Oh, you don't worry when you get there, you get a job, you, you can work and then you can be able to pay your service. Second of all, Cyprus has, when I mean Cyprus, let's just talk about North Cyprus because I'm actually not, not in the South. South is the Greek side, not in the Turkish side. So I'm actually the North, not inside of Cyprus. So they also don't tell you that when you come to Cyprus, it will be really hard for you to get a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. That's number two. And also when you want to order stuff to Cyprus, there are a lot of websites that don't send things to not Cyprus. They don't send stuff to like Turkey. Let me just say Turkey as a whole. So yeah, that's actually one downside. Example could be like on Amazon. Whenever I want to order stuff on Amazon, because I'm a YouTuber, there are a lot of things that I actually want to get and I might want to get on Amazon, but I can't get them because they, they never ship to Turkey. Never, never. They almost never ship to Turkey. Also, they take a lot of like fees when it comes to like shipping fee. And then when you um, import, you always have issues with, they always have issues with imports in Turkey. In Cyprus, not Cyprus. You can't buy a camera, like a good camera in not Cyprus. You probably have to travel to the south or you have to travel to Turkey to get it. Like right now I'm filming on a Canon M100. I literally had to like, and you can't even cross to the south side as like an immigrant or like as an international person. You can't really go to the south side. You have to have like a visa or a pass to go to the south side because the south and the north are not friends. Literally when I got my camera I had to like send someone who was who is from Cyprus to go there to go to the south side to get my camera for me so you see that's actually a disadvantage also um I think those are like the basic ones it's um I think also oh my god things are like expensive I'm actually going to say I think things are actually expensive when you got what I mean things I mean like accommodation because most of their stocks are imported from Turkey. So, also another disadvantage of being in North Cyprus is when you get, um, like, for if you get a, if you get an outfit, or if you get, like, let's say, example for this top I'm wearing, if you get this top in Cyprus, there is a 100% chance that when you go out, every single girl out there is wearing your shirt. So, you probably see your twin sister. That, that's, that, that's lame. As fuck. Still, so, yeah, that's also a disadvantage. Um, I'm trying to think of like mm, the most important ones. I think I've said the most important ones. Actually, I think it's actually.
actually boils down to the agent because when you're living in your country, you know, you always, most of the time, you actually need an agent to be able to travel and come here. Let's go their food. They have. Oh, 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 oh. Like foreign stuff, like for a Nigerian. <laughs> For in Nigeria, like if you want to get Nigerian foods in Cyprus, it is really, 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 really expensive. Like I tell you guys, it is really expensive. If you want to get hair, you guys, they don't sell this in Cyprus. They don't sell attachment in Cyprus. They literally, like Nigerians, literally have to like get them from home and then they send them here. And then think about it, them bringing it from home to this place, it takes like a lot, maybe. The, the whole transportation coming here and all those sort of things. So if I can get this one hair in Nigeria for 500 naira, I'm probably going to get it here for 3,000 naira. It's really messed up. So I think people, people are just really scared of now making braids because it's really expensive to get your hair braided. If you want to braid your hair in Nigeria, let's say in Nigeria, it's probably going to cost you about maybe two thousand naira, let's say two thousand naira or three thousand naira, but here it's going to cost you almost ten thousand naira. So coming when you're coming to Cyprus as like in Nigeria and all like international students, just just get yourself stuffed a lot of just stuff yourself with a lot of things you're going to need from your country because when you come here they are just hella expensive and you don't you don't want to buy things from here you don't want to get stuff that you can get for 10 naira for 100 naira here so just get your st yourself stuffed before coming here the disclaimer it's not like there are no there are no advantages in coming to cyprus school of course there are but i think the disadvantages weigh out the advantages if you have a lot of money like if you have a lot of money if you're like if you're buhari's son Buhari is the president of Nigeria to anyone who doesn't know. But yeah, if you're Buhari's son, then voila, you can actually come to Cyprus and not give a shit about anything. But I'm not Buhari's daughter. I'm not Dangote's daughter, so yeah, so I have things to complain about and I'm going to like voice myself. Right, so if you're a high school graduate right now and you're looking to come to Cyprus, watch this video. Then if you watch the videos and then you're Okay, you're sure that those things won't be a problem to you, then you're actually free to come to Cyprus because Cyprus is actually a wonderful place to be, you know. I think that's it for this video. That's it. Like I said, I didn't want the video to be like so long. So, yeah, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you don't like it, like I used to say, give it a thumbs down so I'll know I'm trash. P.S. I'm not trash, but. Just give this video a thumbs down if you don't like it. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye bye.